Everything has to do with the education. Growing up, I never had the education about money, about finances, about insurance. I didn't understand the importance of preparing for the future. We didn't talk about money growing up. We just knew we didn't have money. My grandmother would say save money, but I really didn't have a blueprint on financial literacy. And what financial literacy means to me is really understanding how money works. It means two words. It means generational wealth. See, for me, it means control. It means I have the power over money rather than money having the power over me. Above and beyond anything else, it means access access to a language that we all want to be fluent in, and that's money. I never ask questions. I never went and asked, what does a 401k mean? What does an IRA mean? What type of insurances are out there? There's a lot of competing voices about what you should or shouldn't do, a lot of opinions. And at the end of the day, I'm the only one who has to live my life. And I want to know I'm making the right financial decisions. I don't want to just hope I'm making the right financial decisions. I was going down that road into the medical field, into the real estate industry, but I didn't know and I did not speak the money language until one day I was introduced to the financial services industry. If you're right now in a position where you're asking yourself, can I afford this? Can I do that? Or I have to wait till I have enough, money is controlling every decision you make in your life. But with financial literacy, you learn to control money yourself. You see, it really hit home for me the day my father passed away. And then the aftermath of watching what that did to my mom, her not knowing where to go, how to go, how to support four kids, all because the money blueprint, the teaching wasn't there. But financial literacy not only helps someone break generational trends and bad generational habits, it also helps people create generational freedom. Because of this opportunity, I'm breaking a generational curse of people not knowing what to do with money, becoming smart with it, how to make it work for them so that they can live a life that they want and they deserve and they actually live that American dream. That is what PHP has provided for me. So for me, it's one of the most important concepts to understand as an adult in our country. The challenge is it's not being taught in high school or college or at home. And so here at PHP Agency, one of our most important values is how do we teach these concepts and values to middle-class Americans from Gen Z's to, to, to millennials, to Gen Xers, to women, to minorities. Had I never came across this amazing company and the opportunities that we have available, I know for a fact that I wouldn't know half of the information that I know today. Getting money to work hard for us and not just us working hard for money. So many of us were taught, go to school, get good grades, get yourself into a good career. So one day you can get yourself a good job and that good job is going to pay you good benefits. But what does benefits really mean? So we're so focused on the now, we don't think about 10, 15, 20 years from now. The PHP platform in terms of financial literacy has literally reshaped my mindset. There's a lot of beliefs that I held to be true about money and my relationship with money. What I realized is you got to break down a lot of things that you have to unlearn in order to relearn it the right way. The importance of insurance the importance of living benefits, the importance of a 401k or IRAs or SEP IRAs or mutual funds and stocks, maybe, maybe the power of compound interest, and understand how those all work together in your favor. And if you take advantage of it at a younger age versus an older age, this is only going to benefit you. So financial literacy is all about educating yourself about how can you improve your finances and how you can prepare better for your future.